Welcome back. I am King Ormond the Fourth, is it? And yeah, I'm, you know, King of the Storm Empire, the Reach, Dawn, the Crownlands. But um, there was a brilliant suggestion which was renamed the Crownlands. I'm going to go ahead and do that as soon as it's back under my control. Um, what was it? Was it Blackwater Bay? Well, I'll think of something because basically what we stated was it's no longer a Crownlands because there's not a crown here anymore. So, of course. Lord Paramount Oswell will have his land renamed. But yes, um, his oldest daughter is my wife. She's a bit of a lunatic. Otherwise, the stats are useless. My heir is Stefan. Who at some point will be trying to train into a good fighter, which we should be able to do. My daughter here is Halis. She has been uh, groomed by Quentin of Tarf. Quentin of Tarf and his son, Quentin Quentarf. Oh, yeah. Who's now drunk? We have two daughters. Let's just have a little bit of a recap. I am, of course, Storm King Ormond, like I just said. I have several brothers. We have Prince Herbert, who married Obera. He's a good knight. Not really that good in stats. He's had his son, Baylor Baratheon, who some of you would like me to give. Macy's hook or stone dance for uh, sharp points. But as you can see, I can't. But yes, we'll be keeping you in mind, Sir Baylor. Even though you look completely different to... My Baylor. Yes, yeah, so there's, uh, there's Herbert. We also have Gowin, my other brother. He's slightly better. He's a bit more of a general kind of chap. He can fight. He's got his own son, Lionel, who is strong. Well, no, he's not. He's, he's huge. Poor fighter, though. He's not training that well as a fighter. We also have Renly, our 14 year old brother. He's not quite not quite um, skilled fighter yet. We could try and get that. But he's going to get a claim on the Rock. But what about the Westerlands? I'm not sure if we get a claim on the Western, so we might not be able to put him in power through that way. And of course we have the youngest, Axel. He's only just been born, he is strong. And here's our Gela, who's also strong. And our wife, Maya, whose husband, my brother-in-law, died. So that's my nephew in charge of these here lands. But yeah, we need to, uh, we need to get going. So, yeah. Stefan is also betrothed to a Estamont for obvious reasons. There is no other Estamonts. It has to be, uh, yeah, the 12 year old is the closest we're going to, going to get. So, yes, um, let's get back into it. We're in this war for, I think it's the Dragonstone Duchy. It is, Dragonstone Duchy. And we're currently winning, but not in the best of situations. We're low on men. We do have Artos Stark leading. We sent off one of his sons to the Night's Watch, or at least he went off, and we kept the other one because splitting up twins is awesome. Exactly what you want to do. Hopefully you can breed through claims and keep some Stark claims because I am trying to conquest Westeros. It'll help out very, very much if I can take this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be storming this, I think. Uh, maybe I should have my men here so I can actually like move them onto something. So let's get back to the war at hand. So we'll uh, finish off this and get these guys involved. But who occupies all this? The Lannisters, who are on my side. No, Oh, the Lannisters are in a separate war. For Byford, which is one province. It's not really that much of a hurt. I'd still rather they didn't try and take it, but it's not really an issue. We also have the Dornish up here helping out, so they'll get involved with everything they need to. Yeah, let's send over another... Just another thousand men will do just to ensure the uh, ensure the storming of the castle Melee's. Now a fun thing is in the actual canon Melee's the monstrous is the guy who kills Ormond Baratheon. Yes. So Melee's the monstrous who is now my trusted general is the man who actually kills me in the in the canon. Let's try and be the best of friends in this alternate universe. His sibling I have imprisoned for whatever reason. She's actually 14, a genius. Quite a good character. I'm not going to sell him to slavery, even though that was an option. I can actually try and get slavery legal, but I really don't want to at all. We'll just uh, allow their existence. I think storming Dragonstone will win us the war. What's this? My faithful vassal, really unfaithful, is rather honest. My faithful vassal, Roel the Unfaithful. Yeah, some people get opinions, some people don't. Um, we gain learning. Do we want to gain learning? 
I mean, it would help with our, our kids who are tutored by us. Otherwise, yes, we'll get melees over here. We'll actually resign him and put him on this side. And then we'll stick him over here. I don't want him taking over to siege. I'm in command here. But I'm not a siege leader. My father was, which was terrific for, you know, sieging. Or at least I don't think I'm a siege leader. Let me have a check. I'm not. I'm a flanker. Yes, here we are. 3,600. We can storm me in a day. So melees arrived just in time. We'll ask the family along with us. That's actually got us only to 77 or 79. And we'll storm the rest. 83. Storm this. 84. Storm Dragonstone because it's rather weak. May as well just get it over and done with. Yes, I captured some of your family members, it would seem. Your wife. Who is a plum? It was? No, that's your... Oh, right! A comment did say that he married his mother. Yeah. I now see that. Thank you for pointing that out. I will not be selling her, but... That is an ungodly marriage. Why am I getting piety for executing her? That is ungodly. I will be fixing it. That is just... You don't do that. Not even a Blackfire or a Targaryen also have this Tyler guy. Let's just go ahead and send him home. And we have this Dany, Daenerys. It was? Oh. Wait. Oh, that's a different guy. It's, I, was, I was throwing for a bit there. But yes, ransom her. Would be worthwhile getting an extra 10 gold. I'm quite low on cash. So every bit of gold I can get does, of course, help. Come on, let's siege this. Let's just get this war out of the way. Maybe I should have had the other armies sieging something, like stone, uh, sharp points. I've had a lot of issues with sharp point recently in my other series as Mountain Blade. Sharp point has been basically the last several episodes. But yes, there is a, uh, a bug that happens around here somewhere in a few episodes. And that does cause a massive change to the series after that. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. I'm sure some people will. What's this? Ah, oh, thank you, Lord Roxton. Thank you, good chap. Just when we need you. Um, yes, we'll let her rot unless she wants to get ransomed. Can we storm this yet? Uh. Oh, wait, that's not me. Ah, great, great. You see rebels, you think, oh, it must be against me, but it's not. We're perfectly fine. Yes, yeah, so we'll get these guys to sharp points just in case we do need to see something extra, but I don't think we will. We'll go over to Driftmark if we do. My wife has died. You've got more daughters, but they're all, of course, married. So he's no longer my father-in-law. Oh, bugger. She'd make a good queen, but he's in the way, and she's already got kids. Ah, oh, bugger. Ormond is the guy who did marry a, uh, a Targaryen, is he not? So I don't think forced marriage actually works. Forced marriage. I can force her to marry me. And I'd make Maylees my brother-in-law. Who's married to a Brandfield? I mean, no, we'll wait until after the war and see who the options actually are. Could you guys not get attrition, please? I wonder how many people are in this castle. Quite a few. Stormlander, Duke of War, Full of Power Slam on Dragonstone has ended. As uh, join the wars the attacker was. Oh, he's joined on my side, so something else has gone wrong. I don't know if that's just a bug telling me something's gone wrong, but whatever, it's over now. We're nearly done. Can we please win this war without any issues? Won't quite take it yet. Just, you don't do that. And how are Plums West Valerian? Oh, it's just her. You know, I don't see how she should be. Who's going to storm first? You guys are. Get to it. And you didn't even win. Okay, I guess you guys are going to have a chance. 100%. Offer peace, enforce demands. Thank you very much. And... That's still your capital. How comes... You've taken Chloral. Chloral is now sworn straight to... Mantares, who is then sworn straight to the Macy. 
But why is that? Go back there. You guys don't sit down just yet. What's gone on here? He's lost Byford. Gonna have to look into that at some point. Can't be losing my own lands. Be a mega war system, please end. He's fighting the hog. Or is that just the King's Lander? Which is Rosby? Yes, so we'll get this out of the way. Right, sweet. So we should be able to put down all of our men. Yep, perfectly fine. We'll send the ships back. I don't want to be losing them. But yeah, we didn't actually get this. We didn't even get the sub vassals. I have like sunglass. Alright. Alright then. So we'll get rid of that. He probably wants us to declare war on someone. The yeah, embargo war against Bravos. 200 guild. Not worth a war, mate. But yes, this. I can't declare war on you because I kind of don't have a reason to. I can afford prestige if I did have a reason to. Can I restore uh, 20 Storm's End? No, I don't think so. Ruler and married. Yes, of course. Um, there is a Lady Fawn. The Lady Fawn. Where is Lady Fawn? I guess she only has one castle. And it's you. Not marrying into that double chin. Yes, you're no longer my father-in-law. That's a bit of a bugger, but you do like me. You do indeed like me. Ah. Uh, no, no, no. We'll not be granting royal privilege. We will, however, be renaming the King of the Crownlands. Because it is now... Blackwater Bay? Makes sense. Blackwater Bay. Lord Paramount Oswell of Blackwater Bay. That makes perfect sense. Macy's Hook. Yeah, everything's... It's just confusing over that. I'm not sure what's going on exactly. Also, how many men can you raise? Not enough. Okay, so uh, we need to sort out our vassals, probably. Yes, we're down quite a bit due to the death of Fela McGeezer. You can sort you out by transferring vassalage of some people. You can have Peter of the Ring, you can have the other guy, because, you know, they are your vassals by right. That gets him up quite a bit. We're going to arrange him a betrothal between Leo and Halis. Yes, and he would take that. But is she in line to inherit at all? She is. After Stefan, she is the heir. And it goes to Herbert. So we're going to be wanting to... Is it agnotic? Only males can inherit. Has reigned for 10 years. No vassal or next year has a um, wrong opinion. So we would want to try and push that. But I'm not going to do unrealistic marriages. Like having her marry matrilineal or whatever. I don't like matrilineal marriages. It's just it's it's very easy method of winning stuff. But... We need to get more opinion with the Tyrells. How old is she? She's my niece, though. That's perfectly legal. We do have a want to look at taking over this land. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if Herbert will... Um, Renly will work. We still have her, however. The thing is, if I press the claim, which I can't... Uh, it's going to be an issue taking over this if I don't have a big claim on the old kingdom. King of the Riverlands. It's not a kingdom. Kingdom of the Vale. So do you have Conrad. And then of course the north is easy to take. I did want to take it in a line. I'll have to look round that. Also there's guys like you. And I lost the... No I didn't. Expand Rome by Conquest is still the, uh, the old option. Old Grand Council has prestige at least on thousands. Shouldn't take that long. What if. Uh, must be true. Lose Lord's Faction at least 100. So rank. All powerful vassals have a positive opinion. Okay. Positive opinion will be quite an issue, probably. No. But then Wild is the High Lord, if he's the Rainwood. Pass, Wensington. Or his Butler Trance. 
I want to have a high lordship here. I don't like these these guys doing what they do. Am I the heir to any of you? No. I did promise to trance some land, so so you now he's your heir, Gaunt. Ah, uh, I see. Best of situations. Um, let's continue to make us you like us. Let's go to the Dornish, whose heir is a is Baylor. Baylor Baratheon is the heir to Dawn. All right, and he will die. Well, Baylor did want some lands. Probably wasn't. Dawn he was interested in, but yeah, I'm a bit ruthless, a bit greedy, patient. Yeah. We can kill off Dawn, and then make uh, Baylor the Lord, send him a gift, prior. Educate him, prior. What's an option? No. Okay, well, I do need to force train Stefan, why can't I? Stefan is educated by me. Oh, yes, we at least eight, of course. Um, Renly, however, force train is not an option either. Why? Why can I not force these kids to train? Nothing here. Foreign tour is nice. Renly should be able to be force trained. Option isn't here at all. Yeah, he's the son of a Lannister, so he sh she's got a weak claim, but then you can't press it on him. Can't press on him either. Right, let's just... Wait, I still need a marriage, though. Go away. And there's no Macy. Anyone of worth? There is a Tully's 13. That's actually a really good option. Tully's 13. Right, should get a claim if he died. Orange marriage to Orange betrothal to Ormond. Yes, we do need to take over the Rivlands. There's that. We've got Halley's betrothed to him. He now likes us a bit more. Still not on the best of terms or everything. I'll decide to accept your suggestion. Of course you have. Get old chap. Well, I need some serious money if I'm going to be like building castles and such for claimants. I'm not actually making that kind of money. So you want to make a castle around here somewhere. Islands? No, it's all well developed. Ah, uh, you sure there's no reason I can declare I can? I'm Pain Hall. Just the Pain Hall. For this guy. I'd rather have the whole high, high Lordship. But yes, yeah, so let's just, uh, we need to be at peace for a bit. We don't have the men. Personal or otherwise, no one exists. Classic, yes, of course. Don't get caught, please. Or Tarth. Do we not have a marriage with Tarth? It says, um, Titos to Wylia Stark. I don't think so, mate. It's the Wandering Wolf's ch uh, kid. In fact, she's 14. She needs to be marrying one of our guys for the North claims. Um, who exists? Lionel is like 10? Range of travel, who have we got? Lionel's 11. Yep, we'll fast that in there. And we'll end the episode, of course. It's gone on about a minute late. But yes, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next one. Have fun, of course. Bye bye.